shysty to the motherfucking Super Bowl. Welcome back, everybody, to Interview in Sports. My name is James. And today, we're going to be breaking down the AFC Championship game. A little late, but Tom Brady's retirement is kind of a big deal, so you got to do that. But here we go. Bengals win of a final score of 27-24. Here's some box score reading for you guys. All the in-depth stats. Burrow, 252 touchdowns and an interception. Mahomes, 275, three touchdowns, two interceptions, including one 13 seconds into overtime, costing this team the game. Joe Mixon had 21 attempts for 88 yards. Jared McKinnon had 12 attempts for 65 yards. T. Higgins had 103 receiving yards. Chase had a touchdown. Salton Pini had a touchdown. Uh, Travis Kelsey had 95 yards for a touchdown. Tyreek Hill had a touchdown. Nicole Hardman had a touchdown. B.J. Hill, the defensive lineman, had an interception. Von Bell had an interception. Nicole Hardman had an interception. Legereus Sneed had an interception. No sacks for the Kansas City Chiefs. The Bengals had a couple in there. But that bad of an offensive line right there, and it, like I can get there in the Super Bowl, but that offensive line is atrocious. This might be the worst offensive line ever to be in the Super Bowl. I'm not kidding. It's quite bad. Usually teams who make it to the Super Bowl have good offensive lines. This team just happens to not have a good offensive line. Um, <coughs> no one had the Bengals, who had the fifth overall pick this in this past draft, and then the number one overall pick for like two wins, for four wins, to 11 wins and a Super Bowl appearance. That is not what I had on my 2022 bingo card. The fact that they went into Arrowhead and they beat the Chiefs just proves the Chiefs are beatable. They had the formula. This game was 21-3 to three at one point. And Eli Apple, out of all people, who if you don't know, has been getting clowned on Twitter for this. All right, he called out the Giants fans, he called out the Saints fans. And if you don't know Eli Apple, Eli Apple was a former first-round pick of the New York Giants who is safe to say was not very good because now he's on the Bengals. But he made the game-saving play right before halftime. Mahomes throws the ball to Tyreek Hill. And instead of leaning it outside, he threw it behind him. So you know how if it's inside, he gets into the end zone. Instead, he has to adjust like that. Eli Apple makes the tackle. Which basically saves the game because at that point it's looking at 28-3, to which I'm not saying it's impossible to come back for, but it's kind of hard to come back from that. And they go into halftime, Bengals have some momentum, they come all the way back, 27-24, three points in three quarters for the Kansas State Chiefs. They didn't get any points in the third quarter, they got three points in the fourth, no points in overtime. And this is why you draft a kicker, because Evan McPherson has been kind of an unsung hero over the playoffs, game-winning field goals, hitting field goals in the Raiders game, a game-winning field goal in Titans, and a kick to send them to the Super Bowl. The Bengals are in it, and he even had one of the coldest lines all playoff season. Once he got them, once Joe Shiesty, uh got him in the field goal range, thanks to a Ryan Tannehill interception, McPherson's like, oh yeah, we're going to the Super Bowl, and then he kicks him to the Super Bowl. Fourth round pick out of Florida. What a story from there. He might be the best kicker in the league when Justin Tucker ever retires. But what went wrong for the Kansas City Chiefs? In depth-wise, in football terms, what the Bengals did on defense was they disguised blitz. They backed off one of their defensive linemen, which you saw in the B.J. Hill interception, and they blitzed one of their corners, which I'm thinking Mahomes is reading that as, yeah, okay, they're blitzing, because he sees the corner coming off the edge. He's like, I got to make a quick throw, because they're blitzing off the edge. Blitzing means you're blitzing more guys than they can block. A disguise blitz is when they're not doing that. They're disguising the blitz. They're showing blitz pre-snap, and that's why you get fake. And you see guys jump back, it's like, hey, they're not blitzing, blah, 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 uh, green 19 whatever, or they blitz and like, hey, they're, bl 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 they're blitzing all uh, pre-snap read. What the Bengals did, and this is how it worked on the B.J. Hill, Chiefs were calling a lot of screens, so they delayed the blitz. B.J. Hill would drop back in the coverage, and the corner, Mike Hilton, would go in and blitz. Jesse Bates kind of played over the middle, took away the edge, and it and the defense worked. Now, sometimes coverages get busted, and that's how you see big plays happen. Sometimes plays are just open. It's just how it is. This was a really good defense for how they did it. He and he forced Mahomes to rush the throw. That's how I, Trey Henderson had a pass deflection. It's a very specific play. The corner 
Trey Henderson dropped back off the edge. The corner blitzed on the other side. And so forced Mahomes to end on his blind side too, so he can feel this pressure coming in. And he just forced the throw, bad pass deflection. And Mahomes got conservative. Mahomes got safe there towards the second half. He kind of did what Aaron Rodgers did. And this is what we've seen Patrick Mahomes did at the beginning of the year. He was getting conservatives. When his defense wasn't playing well in the beginning of the season, it wasn't defense played well this game. It was getting stops. The offense just wasn't putting up points, which credit to this Bengals defense. They made a lot of low risk, high reward signings, and they're getting the high reward. They, I thought they were paying for Trey Hendrickson. They're going to the Super Bowl, so I can't really say it's an overpay. But it worked out in the end for him. And Mahomes just got conservative, got safe, and he held onto the ball way too long. There's multiple times where he could have thrown it, but he just, he just, eh, 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 pump fake and the fumble, which almost lost in the game in regulation, didn't even need to go to overtime. The last play, Mahomes is like this. He has Travis Kelsey wide open in the end zone, which you see on game film. Obviously, I'm not saying, like, hey, Patrick, you should have saw that because no one knows what he can see at that moment except for Patrick Mahomes. When you watch on game film, Kelsey was open, but Mahomes hesitated, held him the ball, forced the fumble out there at the end. Chief cover sent it overtime, and then the overtime rules get talked into discussion. announced today the Pro Bowl is trying things out where a team chooses they want to be on offense or defense. The other team chooses to spot the ball. So they could be like, oh, we want the ball at our one-yard line. The other team's like, well, they're, they're, we want to be on defense. Well, then the other team has the ball at one, their own one-yard line. It seems confusing to me. I say just give everyone a chance at the football, and then, you know, after that, yeah, your defense needs to make a stop for you. It's a team sport. I get it. That's why I said in the postseason. Postseason, everyone needs he gets a chance. Everyone's offense needs to get a chance. At that send up, keep it how it is in the regular season, in the postseason. We don't want to see what happened to Josh Allen this year and Patrick Mahomes in 2019. It's just not fun. No, or 2018. Nobody in football wants that. We want to see those offenses get back on the field, give them a chance. After that, yeah, your defense needs to make a stop. It has to, because that's where the team sport gets involved. But the rush throws, holding on the balls too long, and what went right for the Bengals? Well, that play at the end gave them the momentum. They were only down 11 points at the half. And shit, Joe Burrow is just that guy. He doesn't look like he had the best completion percentage, but he made so many plays with his legs that this box door doesn't show. There's multiple times where he thought he's going down to get sacked, but he just had the ability to break out of it. Kind of reminded me of Josh Allen. Now, Josh Allen's just so big, it just it's hard to take him down. It's what makes Josh Allen so special. Lamar Jackson's so shifty in his speed. It's hard to take him down. Uh, big Ben and Aaron Rodgers in their prime had the ability to move out on the pocket. Russell Wilson does a great job. The improvised play, the broken play scramble. Mahomes does this well. They just were able to wrap up Mahomes. There were so many plays in there where I thought Joe Burrow was going to get sacked that would kill drive and the Chiefs would be on their way to the Super Bowl. Joe Burrow just was able to shake it off and he got the first down extending plays. Those are the plays that make him special and that's why Joe Shiesty's going to the Super Bowl. Joe Burr. Joe Franchise. Whatever you want to call him, Joe Burrow has taken over this NFL season. I really want to see him get a ring. But... That is the final score here of the AFC Championship. Bengals 27, Chiefs 24. Who knew the Bengals would be going into Arrowhead and beating the Chiefs for a shot at the Super Bowl? They're playing in the Super Bowl. And Tom Brady and the Bucks aren't. And Aaron Rodgers and the Packers aren't. Russell Wilson and the Seahawks didn't make the playoffs. That loaded Browns roster didn't make the playoffs. The Ravens didn't make the playoffs. But the Bengals are going to the Super Bowl. This is why you love the NFL. Insanity can happen. They're a team of destiny. They're the undercard. And that they and all of America wants Joe Burrow and those Cincinnati Bengals to get a ring. Who will I pick? Be on the lookout for a prediction video. Mock draft video of the Las Vegas Raiders coming back. I said the first playoff team eliminated would be the first team to get a mock draft. They were the first team eliminated. By the Cincinnati Bengals, it was purely by chance. It just had to be the first game off. The Bucks Eagles were the first game on, then it would be the Eagles. But that's how it works. Also, NFC Championship reaction on my podcast episode coming out tomorrow. Depending on when you're watching this, I will be talking about the whole Brian Flores situation. So make sure you go follow that Spotify, Apple Podcast, wherever the hell you get your podcast. Younger Review and Sports Podcast is there almost guaranteed.
But that is all I have. The Bengals going to the Super Bowl. Disappointing law for the Chiefs. Going to do a mock draft of them. Of course. And of course. Of course. Thank you for listening.